Hey guys, it's Inferno Bird here, and this is just pretty much a shortening up of um, of the intro of the video that I made of how to install a ROM. Um, anyway, um, it, you know, this is a general uh, how-to of of most ROMs and how they how they are installed onto your phone, uh, onto your Android phone. Um, this is this ROM right here, and the link that I have provided is specifically made for the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. If you have a different Samsung Galaxy S3, you're going to need to go through xdadevelopers.com and find your find a ROM specific to your phone. So if you have AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, US Cellular, Verizon, or anything like that that is already rooted, um, you need to go through xdadevelopers.com to find your ROM, not this link right here. This is specifically for the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Anyway, what you want to do is click on the link, and it'll download. It'll take a while to download. It's a big file, um, but once it's downloaded, you'll see it on your computer, and there it is. So, um, and then next thing you want to do, you want to connect your Samsung Galaxy S3 via USB. And once it's connected, you want to make sure that it is connected as a media device and lock it unlock it um, we want to take this this new uh, zip file that you just downloaded and you want to put it onto your phone so you can go ahead and put your phone down once you've made sure that it is connected as a media device sorry forgot to do that so make sure it's connected as a media device. Go ahead and set it down. Go to your computer. And then under any uh, browser window, meaning not web browser, but uh, any other browser, like a, a file browser. There you go. Um, I'm going to go to your computer and open it up. And then you want to find your phone, which is not showing up right now. So. You wanna, okay, I was having a little trouble getting it to connect. Um, if you're just having trouble connecting it, just unplug the USB and plug it back in, and it should show up um, under your under your computer. Um, why is it not showing up? Okay, there it is. Sorry. Wow, I was having a hard time there for a second. Anyway, you want to double click on it. And then, um, with, like this is this would be your SD card. This would be your internal phone storage. You want to put it on either one, um, depending on if you have a card. I definitely recommend putting it on the card. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and open up the card, and then just drag and drop it right there in into the base of the SD card. So so it's gonna do that. All right. And once it's pretty much done with that, you can close out of it. Um, you can then shut off your phone. So go ahead and hold the power button. Select power off. Hit OK. And wait till the power is off. There we go. And then you can go ahead and unplug your USB cable. Once you do all that, you can go to our phone. And here we go. All right. So first of all, you want to press your volume up, power and home button all at the same time so go ahead and hold those until you get to the first screen which lights up which is that one and then you can let go and then after that you should be into either clockwork mod recovery or um, twerp recovery or whatever recovery you have um, I'm sorry I don't have my device rooted. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'll be back whenever this device is rooted, but it, it'll be pretty much in the same process uh, up till now. So I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. It took me a minute to reroute my phone, probably about 30 seconds. <laughs> anyway, um, if you don't have your phone rooted and you want to root your phone, I'll include a link in the description where it shows you how to root. Um, yeah, I have a video of it. Anyway, um, you should be in this mode, which is Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery or whatever. 
Um, and how you want to do this is you want to use your volume buttons to control uh, where your where your highlighter goes and then you want to select using your power button so anyway you want to go to backup and restore and make sure you make a uh, backup first so backup um, and restore and select and then go down to backup to internal SD card or ex external SD card depending on which one you want um, the regular backup is the external so go ahead and do backup onto the external and uh, this will actually take a little bit of time to do so um, I'm gonna leave this to it and I'll get back to you after this is done so yeah okay that took about 10 or 15 minutes for me but anyway after you do that you want to go to um, you want to scroll through and go to wipe data factory reset and then go to yes delete all and select this is also going to take a minute but after it's yeah there we go maybe it didn't take as long as I thought it would <laughs> anyway and then after that you want to go to wipe cache partition and then hit yes and that shouldn't take too long there we go and then you want to go to advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache or cache um, and then you want to hit yes so after that's done doing that you can go back and then go to install zip from SD card then choose zip from SD card you can choose the top one which is choose zip from SD card or choose zip from internal SD card depending on where you put that file on your phone um, on your phone or SD card so I put it on my external so I'm gonna go choose it from SD card and then I'm gonna find it and there it is Jelly Bomb JB Leak version 4.3 zip so once we get to there you wanna hit select then you hit yes install Jelly Bomb JB Leak and it'll take you through the install process so this is the install process and you'll see this come up and it is now installing Team Venom's Jelly Bomb. So once it's finished installing, uh, you can go to Reboot Phone Now, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, after it finishes installing, uh, I'm running out of battery life, so let's see if we can get it to install before my camera battery dies. <laughs> it should not have been dying. It's like it was full whenever I started. I don't know. Anyway, uh, there we go. All right, so you want to hit go back and then go ahead and reboot system now. And it will now reboot into the new ROM that you just downloaded. Um, and we'll see the new boot animation and whatnot. And um, so here's the new boot animation that you'll see. It's kind of cool. This is for the Jelly Bomb ROM. Uh, different ROMs have different animations sometimes. Sometimes they have the stock animation. But I think this ROM is actually really, really, really heavily themed, which is pretty cool if you like, you know, heavily themed different kinds of phones. You know, you want your friends to go, you know, what is that? It's kind of cool uh, ROM to have. It, it's, it's all blue, um, supposedly, but... Uh, Anyway, should boot up. Takes a minute for, for a brand new ROM to boot up, but as you can see, it's working. The LEDs are on. So just, you'll, you'll have to wait for it, and I'll probably fast forward it through right about now. Alright, and then you'll get to a screen that looks like this. It says, uh, welcome, English, of course. Um, do you have Google account? Uh, no, I'm just going to skip through this so we can get to... Um, so we can get through to the to the ROM itself. Uh, let's see. Oh wait. Skip. 
M next M next. Next. Finish. And then it automatically, this is kind of cool, it automatically gives you three launchers on this ROM. Uh, you have Apex Launcher, Nova Launcher, and then of course TouchWiz, which, um, so I'll go ahead and go to TouchWiz right now. But anyway, that more or less, that is how you install a brand new ROM. Um, like it, it it's ex this one is extremely themed it's got you know blue everything blue uh applications blue widgets uh has all these notification or it, all these toggles that they have up top um which you, you know it has like uh let's see what is not on the usual one like it has like um reboot and shutdown up here that you can do uh let's see gps flashlight flashlight like you can toggle on and off and there you go so that's kind of cool um this is based on jelly bean so go into, into your settings go all the way down to about device and there you go you have the 4.1 1.1 jelly bean rom and there it is all blue Anyway, um, I'm going to run out of battery before I can <laughs> get through. Uh, anyway, that's, that's a little look at, um, at installing, or that's basically how to install a ROM um, and, and whatnot. Uh, so, there you go. If you like my video, um, if you like my commentary, if you found it helpful and useful, uh, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe button's up here. Uh, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, um, and anywhere else you want to share this video at. Uh, <laughs> I am open to comments and suggestions, um, things you want to see, things that I'm not doing. Um, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment box below. Anyway, thanks guys.